Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. Um, to my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. So, I just want to thank everybody um, for all your likes, your subscribes, your comments. And um, the cards are already jumping out, so we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the reading. If a um, message does not fit, don't try to force it to resonate. Feel free to take the rolls and reverse them as needed. And I hope everybody's doing well today. So the cards that are coming out right now are, the first one out is Aid. Um, this card is talking about mercy and charity and kindness. And this one says readiness. And this says live and learn. So before I speak on that, because there's a couple different messages that I'm getting with this and I don't know which way this is going. Okay. <laughs> So, mask has come out. There's someone here. There's someone here who could be coming towards you to um, try to offer some kind of help. This could be something that you have <laughs> prepared for for a very long time. And it looks like Whatever this is, you had to develop it. There could be somebody that um, you've been dealing with where there's been a great deal of deception and pretending and inconsistency with this person. And um, this has to do with, with something that you've created or some place that something originated from, something that you're trying to cultivate. And there could be somebody in your energy that is um, distrusting or either of you or somebody who's trying to put you in a third party situation. Somebody could be trying to tempt you with something. So I'm seeing someone trying to come to you to possibly offer you something that looks like it's kindness or mercy or charity. But really this person is doing something that they're pretending Let's see what else. Mm. Divine Masculine has come out. So this could be a masculine energy that's doing this. Um, or you could be... Hold on one second. There's a lot of distractions going on. Okay. Sorry, my puppy was at my door and I had my music playing and it was at a very low volume, but it was still extremely distracting. So... <laughs> Um, that could be significant and that somebody could be coming in trying to distract you with something that looks like kindness or some kind of help. But this is something that this person is trying to deceive you with. It's like they're trying to come in to offer you some kind of an arrangement that has to do with something that you have been dealing with. But they could be... Um, Trying to put you in the middle middle of something with another person. So there's just something here that's concealed. This could have to do with a masculine energy or you could be a masculine energy. This book is sticking out to me on this card so there's also books in this card hmm. it could be something about a notebook bitterness has come out so this says resent res resentment anger hurtful words Sorry, I don't know why <laughs> my words are not coming out correct. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, it says, try again, new direction, start over. So what this looks like is someone coming in trying to 
offer something to you, some kind of an arrangement. And they could be doing this. And this is somebody that looks like they're, they're bitter and they're pretending to be okay. And whatever this has to do with, there's, it's, it's signifying something that has to do with wherever this started. So whoever this is talking about, there's something that happened between you and this person where they could have hurt you. Um, they could have let you, left you in a state of feeling sad or crying. And it's like now they want to come back around and make some kind of an arrangement with you. Because there's something that they learned during this time. So something about taking notes or something they took note of that they feel like they can come back and... Oh, and then when I spill the deck, Divine Feminine is here. So there's some spiritual lesson that's attached to whatever this is. Um, and I split it again. Rejection is here. This person could feel abandoned or um, have some irrational fear of being rejected by you. So they're not coming in being honest, whoever this is. Or maybe it is rational, whatever, if they've done something to you. This says cloudy judgment, so illusions, unbalanced, distorted. Yeah, there's something that they're trying to hide. And when I split it again, it says second chance and karma. So if someone... Is coming in trying to make amends or recreate an opportunity between you and them because of something to do with karmic debt or cause and effect, or this could be actual debt. Anything else from this deck? Distracted. Yeah, at the beginning of the reading, I was very distracted. As I was trying to read the cards, and I couldn't get the message out because... I thought I could have my music on in the background and have it not be an issue. but So there could be something like that with you. you. Something may need your undivided attention or somebody could be coming in to try to distract you with something um, to change the subject or to create a delay or to sidetrack something. I'm getting somebody coming in trying to offer you something that they think that you'll accept. Try to offer you some kind of an arrangement. Um, this could have to do with paperwork or something that you're going through with them. But whatever this has to do with, this is something that you have, like you have experience in whatever this is with them. So if somebody's trying to come in and offer you something, what I'm getting is you know, you already know who this person is. You know the way that this person works, the way that they think. Um, you know that they are somebody who's deceptive because when you met them or whatever, whatever's happened between you and them, this is something that um, you are able to identify this person's energy. It's just that simple. And this either has to do with your first impression of them or this is somebody that you already know. You know that this could be somebody who um, is doing something behind your back. You know that this is somebody who's bitter or angry. And they could have very cloudy judgment. And they could be trying to cause some kind of illusion um, with you. So whoever this is, they want something. There's something that they're trying to offer you because they desire either something from you or to do with you or something that you have. Um, this looks like somebody who could be in a relationship and they're getting distracted by something that they want from you or they, they want you. What is this?
this could be somebody who's just who's an opportunist um there's also something here about second chance so this could be somebody who wants to come back around and make amends they could be in a, in a relationship with somebody else Whoever this is, is someone that could be admiring you from afar if this isn't somebody that you already know. But it looks like if this is somebody that's a secret admirer of yours, they're already connected to someone. And they could be coming to you because they feel like you're very kind or you understand them. Um, this is somebody who... This is someone who, like, they are coming in to try to use you as a distraction. Or someone is coming in to offer you something to distract you. But this doesn't look good, whatever this is. This, I mean, this card that says lusting, it also says forbidden, noncommittal, and sexual energy. So there could be somebody coming in um, wanting to have a fling or wanting to put you in like some third party situation. What else is this? What is this lusting energy? Yeah, whoever this is, it's like this is someone who is daydreaming or fantasizing about you. They um, could be in a situation that they're unhappy in. Um, so they're like using you as something to daydream about. This is gross. Um, <clears throat> what else is this? Whoever this is, is at their breaking point. This person could want to come and say something to you. There's something about being overwhelmed, um, them being at their final straw. But whoever this is, their judgment is very cloudy. Um, I'm also getting something about you ignoring this person. So it's like they are getting to the place of where they can't take it anymore. They want to come in and say something to you to try to make something happen. Um, at the bottom of this deck, it says deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons, past life, hopeless, resistance, healing, hoping, boundaries, conflict. Um, <clears throat> so let's see if we can get some more information about who this is. I think I'm going to do another reading after this one. Oh, I don't like this energy, whatever this is. This is, it, I mean, because it looks like somebody that is, um, they are in a very distorted place at this time. And whatever overwhelming emotion that they're having, they're willing to be deceitful in order to get some sort of attention from you or get you to interact with them. Um, show me aid. What is this? Somebody's trying to come in to um, use your kindness against you. Like this person thinks that you have a soft spot for them or they believe they can tell you some kind of a sob story to get beyond your boundaries. This is somebody who is going to come in to try to love bomb you or use emotional um, manipulation to get beyond your boundaries. Whoever this is, this is something that you're prepared for. Um, you've been through cycles with different people who are like this or this is somebody from your past um, or a past life, like this could be some karmic soulmate situation. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. The soulmate card has come out that you moved on from. So this could be someone, um, that you, hold on before I say that. Yeah, <laughs> the devil has come out. So um, this could be someone that you have already moved away from. And this is what it's saying. The devil and the two of cups together is a karmic soulmate. This is somebody who's toxic, who's trying to keep you bound to them for some reason. And you have already, you already have boundaries in place. But they could be coming in to try to use emotional manipulation to get you to stay stuck to them or stay trapped. But you're prepared for this. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or have that sign somewhere in your chart. This is something that you have already juggled before and moved on from very quickly. Or this is something that you're leaving behind. Um, 
Show me your mask section. What is this? What is this energy? Yeah, somebody is doing, they're going to come in and try different emotional manipulative, manipulative tactics to try to get you to stay stuck to them. The number 22 or 37 could be significant. You could be 37 years old. You could have known this person since you were 22. For some of you, you've known this person since you were young and you are very guarded against whoever this is or spirit is saying that you're protected from this person or that they're energetically blocked. This, this is something that you see through. Um, whenever it, it's either a collective of energies that are like this or somebody specific that's coming towards you. Um, if this is other people's energy that's coming towards you that's like this, it's like this is familiar to you. You know how to handle it. This, you handle people who try to put you in third-party situations um, who are lusting after you or who are looking for attention or their energy vampires or um, doing something with a focus on you because of a situation that they are in. And it's like, this is um, something that you see very clearly. You're able to identify it and you handle it in a very head over heart way. So why is this coming out? What is this? Because this looks like somebody coming in to try to trick you with something, but it doesn't matter because at the heart of the reading is um, origin and um, the seven of wands. So it's like you are protected from the ground up. Like this is something that to your core, you're already familiar with whatever this lesson is. And you could have been somebody that um, you let people play on your heartstrings before where if they told you a sad enough story, no matter the kind of person they were, you may have listened to them and gave them some sort of help, whether this was, you know, being a shoulder to cry on or, you know, um, lending them money or lending them time or helping them in some way. And it's like in the past, whenever these things were happening, um, because these are people who are manipulative or controlling or they were doing something out of darker energies, it always puts you at a place of um, losing yourself or losing, losing more than you needed to. And these people did not appreciate this, but it also puts you sometimes in a place of like some kind of a bind, like being bound to this person caused you to lose other things in your life or caused, it affected different places. And it's like, you're protected from this now and in all forms and all cycles that you're going to go through. It's like this specific energy is one that cannot trick you anymore. These people or these, this energy that comes towards you that behaves like this, um, it is to distract you from your purpose. It is to put you in, um, in a place where you might be tempted to keep you off of your spiritual path, to disconnect you from God. Yeah, and the distraction, whenever they come in, whatever this is, they're always offering something that feels like a wish fulfillment or feels like instant gratification or it feels like something that could be um, something that you would enjoy. But it always is like these distractions always put you in a place of you know that if you continue with it that you will get to a place of being trapped. And it's not something that you do anymore. You don't look at these distractions. This isn't something that you entertain. For some of you, it's one specific person that is coming towards you to do this. You could look at this person like they're the devil. This could be somebody that whenever you think of them and whatever energy I'm describing, that this is somebody that you look at like they have just really bad energy. 
on them. This could be somebody who's extremely immature. Um, and they'll do things to try to trap you, but whoever I'm speaking to, you've overcome this. This is energy that you, it doesn't matter who this is. Yeah, because lusting, fantasy, and the Ace of Wands has come out. So that's all this person wants. This person wants some either some sexual encounter with you or they want to put you. This person, for others of you, this is not something that's romantic. This has something to do with somebody's anger. Um, it's like they, they're still like obsessed with doing something to, to ignite a passionate encounter with you. And passion does not have to be sexual. It could be anger. It could be, um, creating a fight with you. It could be, you know, igniting something with you that you, that's already dead. Like you have already ended this. There's no, um, going back. You're not entertaining um, nice things, mean things, hurtful things. There's, it <laughs> doesn't matter what they do. There's no way for them to get you to react. Um, so for some of you, there's a masculine energy that's focused on you and there it's out of resentment. Others of you, it's out of wanting a romantic encounter with you that they're obsessing about. Um, show me divine masculine. This, this could be somebody who's spying on you. Um, this could be an air sign. This could be somebody who's immature. Um, and the Ace of Swords has come out. So the, whoever this is is somebody who's spying on you and they do want to talk. <laughs> they could be driving past your house. That For some of you, they feel like they have learned something. What is it that this person has learned? What is this? Need to shuffle. What have they learned? They've learned that you have discernment, that your judgment is like it's it's just a hard rock that they cannot get beyond. They learned that there's judgment here for this connection, or judgment is coming for them. If this is um, something to do with court, they know how this is going to end. For others of you, this has to do with them wanting a second chance. But what they've learned is that you are protected and you're somebody who your discernment is unmatched. Whether that has to do with your intuition or the way that you look at things intellectually, they know that they cannot get beyond it. And this makes this person very bitter. It's like they have learned a cold, hard truth. So what is their deal? What is this? Why? Because whoever this is, it's like their judgment is being clouded by their bitterness towards you. But it's like they're bitter about you being clear-headed. And happy. They don't want for you to be happy. So. And they're seeing that you see them clearly. But they want, whoever this is, they, this is somebody who it's like they're obsessed about this passionate beginning. They're something to do with them daydreaming or fantasizing or wanting, um, some kind of encounter with you to keep you from being grounded, to keep you from having whatever it is that you have. They want to bring some kind of an ending to your grounded energy or to, um, to you. This person, and they're going to do this by emotional manipulation, whoever this is. They could use children. There could be something about kids here. This person could want you to end. Um, for some of you, this person wants you to lose your temper um, in front of kids, or there's something about losing kids. Because they know whatever this is, this pinnacle here, they know that this is yours. And they're wanting to bring an ending to it. And they, they're they stuck on this. Whoever this is, they're focused on ending you or ending your 
grounded practical energy. Um, they want you to to be unstable and to be emotionally independent on them. They want to do something here to shake up your instability to make you emotionally unstable so that they can get whatever it is that they want from you. That's what I'm seeing is that there's something about um, them wanting to come in to get beyond your walls so that when they get in there, they can cause chaos, whoever this is. Because I see that you're at rest. This could be something that this person thinks about day in and day out. This is something that they're very obsessed about. Like they think about you before they go to sleep. They think about you whenever they wake up. They think about you throughout their day. And all they can think about is like messing you up on your insides because you don't want to be with them because you, and this, it's like, that's what's clouding their judgment. That's what's causing this like distorted behavior. This person could be trying to research you online or trying to, to research ways to, um, to cause psychological manipulation. There's something here where there's somebody being weird online. Um, I don't know if you can see them with their MacBook, but uh, it's like they're obsessed. They're at their breaking point because you, no matter what they do, it's like you're floating away from this energy because you know that your 10 of cups doesn't lie with them. It's like you would rather be happy and free than be attached to whatever this has to do with. So what else do we need to know? What else is... Why is this happening now? Why is... Because you're about to receive a victory. This person... Feels like what they can see coming towards you is success and achievement and happiness. <laughs> and there's the singing bowl. But um, this person feels like you have judgment that, that cuts them off, that cuts them out of your life, that protects you from them. And, and this could be energetically, this could be physically, this could be mentally, this is psychologically. It's like every single place that you had any kind of an investment with them, they cannot touch you anywhere. This person feels like there's judgment coming for them. And for some of you, there's something here about um, Archangel Gabriel who is doing something. He's attached to whatever this outcome is or whatever this happiness is or your victory. <clears throat> and it's... This angel is one that makes people see things in the way that, that that person can understand. So there's something about whatever's being done here or whatever it is that's going on, somebody is being made to understand in the 3D um, either who you are or what they have done done to you. Like there's balance that's going to be restored to it or judgment that's being called on it. It's like whatever this person is doing or these energies coming towards you, this is coming to an end and... It's also going to be seen that you are somebody who should be respected or valued or um, there's something about you being successful somewhere or winning something or being the, the victor over this energy. And they feel at a loss. They feel like they've screwed something up. There's a lot of regret here for this person. They're feeling sorry for themselves. And you're not speaking to them. You are no longer going to this person to try to resolve any issues that you have between you and them. You look within and you resolve it within yourself. Um, you could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. You look to the divine. You look inside yourself and you already know the answer to these questions. Like you don't you don't wonder anymore about why this person is the way that they are or why they're doing the things that they're doing. You're not distracted by whatever this is. 
you are very focused on practical things at this time, whether it's to do with work or your home or um, it's like you are looking Ooh, I had a really weird dream last night. I'm going to share with y'all because I thought it was very strange. So I was um, planning to do something um, with my family. And this is in the dream. I was planning to do something with my family. I'd already purchased tickets for something. I was going somewhere. Um, everybody was packed and ready to go. And then out of nowhere, um, it's like then all of a sudden me and the people that I'm with have to go to an event um, with people that I do not like. Um, <laughs> and these are people that I've cut out of my life. I don't speak to these people anymore. So um, for whatever reason, I go to this event because it's some special event where this person that I don't like is being honored. And um, while this person is being honored or at this, this event that I have to go to, I um, have to like hop over a pond and jump over all of these rocks and climb up this thing to get into this venue to go to this event that I do not want to go to. Um, and I'm dressed up for my other thing that I wanted to go do, um, that I had purchased tickets for. And while I'm there, for whatever reason, um, when the scene changed, I'm at this venue with the people that I had planned to do the other event with, and nobody wants to be there. Um, and I'm seated at the table with, with these people that I do not like, that again, I have cut out of my life in, in real life, in the 3D, I've cut these people out of my life. Um, and I'm, while I'm sitting there, um, I'm going to order my food and this one specific person who I don't speak to anymore slides over to me and they start saying something to me, you know, like in jest, trying to get me to say something or trying to react to them. And I'm just reading the menu and a waiter comes in and this, when this waiter comes in, they start, uh, doing something really gross with the food. And that is the reason that I choose to leave the venue because I was like, well, I'm not going to eat this gross food. These people are being weird. And when I stand up, the person that I don't like is very focused on me. And the people that this person is with, I can tell that they don't want to be with this person, but they're focused on me. And I, um, it's like this whole elaborate thing was created so that I would go to this event so that this person could cause me some sort of angry interaction. And I end up leaving for a completely different reason. And maybe that's what this is talking about. It's like, this is talking about, um, you doing things for people because you feel like it's the right thing to do. Um, when these people don't deserve it and this energy is over and there could be somebody that you have already cut out of your life that you are done with that could be trying to create some kind of a distraction or some kind of kind of interaction to get you to speak to them or to get you to um to do something or say something but you're so you are so distracted living your own life that you don't even see them these are people that you don't you don't pay attention to and it's like this is coming back there there's some kind of a repeated pattern that's about to happen and this person feels like they are hopeless and dis and in despair and falling apart because whatever silly tactics they try. I just heard silly rabbit. Um, oh, that's funny. That's the tricks are for kids. So it's that. It's like you, this is not something that you entertain anymore. This You're not a child. You're not somebody who where you let anger control you or you let um, the distraction of wanting to help people who don't deserve your help. It's like you've learned whatever these lessons are. That's what this reading is pointing to. And there's somebody specific who's about to try to come towards you and they could be coming in telling you that they need help or they could be asking for mercy in a situation where they didn't give you any. And this person could be coming towards you to try to, to put you back into a karmic cycle. 
And it's like whoever this is, they are at their breaking point. But there's there's like a reason that this is happening. There's something about judgment or an ending or you being the clear winner of something. I'm sorry. The dream was a little all over the place. But essentially it was just I was supposed to go. I had paid for something to do with me and a group of people that I wanted to do things with. But instead, out of respect, I went to this other thing um, that I didn't want to attend just because I didn't want somebody else to feel bad when in all actuality, these people don't care about me or how I feel or whether or not I was even there for any other reason than to upset me. Um, and so it's giving like somebody being an energy vampire, but they, they, it's like something specifically to do with you or your light or who you are. They want your specific energy. And they are at a breaking point. This person doesn't want to take no for an answer for whatever it is that they, they want from you. Um, this could have to do with some lie that they have told or something to do with the legal system where something is about to be seen um, with judgment and the sun, the six of wands, and justice in the reverse. There's some judgment that's coming to an end because somebody... I just heard on the throne. So, so this could be a judge um, is looking at whatever it is that's happened here and they could be coming to your aid, but there's something about um, you having a victory over a lie. You're at a crossroads here because you're, there's a tower that's coming in. So that's why all of this has come out. There's some, crossroads or breaking point or you're at a fork in the road and there's a tower there's some unexpected event that's about to happen where um somebody's foundation is going to be crumbling around them this could be somebody from your past that you have bad memories with they could be sending you a lot of messages whoever this person is that's going to be messaging you that's what they're messaging you with. They're messaging you for some kind of like hoping that you'll be kind or that you have some kind of a soft spot with them. And it's because they are going through a tower. What is this tower spirit? This is a financial loss or some, um, some like financial upheaval. The, this could have to do with divine timing or it could have to do with a Sagittarius or you have... Uh, Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. This person could be going through an ego death because of a loss or because of greed where they were trying to hold on to you or hold on to finances or money or trying to, to stop you from um, being independent of them. Like they're trying to stop you from being financially independent or just free of them. And if you had finances tied together with this person that's like they were trying to keep you from from having that having money this was all based off of money or assets or something to do with time or energy and this person is at a breaking point you could have a lot of money coming towards you this could be something that this is too many cards spirit this could be something that you waited for for a very long time um this is something where there's been like very slow progress with whatever this is, but you do have money coming towards you. Is there anything else? Anything else the collective needs to know? Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. So there could be a karmic feminine and a masculine who um, these people, this masculine could be somebody who has a lot of money. This could be a karmic feminine that's attached to them. And these people are in fear or anxiety at this time where there's something that they are feeling that's causing this 
behavior, whatever it is, whatever tower is about to happen. Um, or there's some financial loss that this person is experiencing and this is what's causing both of these people to feel um, very chaotic and anxious. What else? They feel like they missed an opportunity for something, whoever this is. <laughs> they missed an opportunity but to betray you. Like, whoever these people are, they thought whenever they put in all of these swords to your back that you wouldn't get back up. That there was a, like, a final straw or a final sword. There's something that they missed during whatever it is that they were doing, whatever calculating they were doing, they missed something. And this could be causing infighting between these two people, or they could be coming in to communicate something to you to try to cause you to lose your temper. Or that's it's like that's always the goal. They want you to act out of pocket um, to cause some disruption in your foundation because they see that you're at peace right now. You could be with somebody else at this time, or you could have somebody else coming towards you that's a better match for you. Yeah, they want to, to start some kind of fight with you and they're going to do something foolish to try to, to fight with you. These people are um, in Seven of Swords energy or this person is because they want you to invest in some confusing behavior to try to mess up a commitment um, this could be two people who are trying to get you to make a choice and this has to do with money that they're looking at and gossip. All of these people, it's like they're focused on you, whoever this is. Um, this could be a masculine energy who's working on something to do. It's like they're trying to mess up your, your self-love or your self-worth or something, something. Uh, but there's an ending here with the Wheel of Fortune, so... You need to know that you're protected and they're, whoever this is isn't going to succeed, but there is something that they're about to do. Um, and it has to do with like a distorted view of what this entire situation is. Because it's weird. It's like what they see is that you can see through them, but they still think that they have control. Maybe that's what the illusion is, is that they still believe that um, there's some like something to do with the way that they view themselves like oh well I know I could still get under their skin I know I could still get them to react I know that if I just do this then you know they'll do XYZ that this person thinks that they have control over you they think that a minimum they at a minimum they have the ability to distract you um, so you could have, you could have kids with this person and they could be using, um, children to try to cause some sort of distraction, but this is something that you've already learned. Um, like whoever this is, this is somebody that, you know, you can't communicate with at all. So it's like, let the pieces fall where they may, whatever it is that they are doing. Um, it's like, you don't even let those things, it's like those things don't irk you anymore. Those things can't get a rise out of you. So let's see what else. If you don't have kids with this person, this just has to do with what they, th what they think they know about you at your core. It's like they think that they can, they still have control. So you've got somebody coming towards you. You need to know that you're <clears throat> protected from this person, but that you also need to maintain <clears throat> boundaries. out there even. <clears throat> what is the advice? What is the advice for the collective? Yeah, celebrate your freedom from this person because 
you are already free from whoever this is. This is a pattern that you have gotten out of, and they're just coming towards you to try to cause doubt in your mind. Um, celebrate your abundance because you do have that coming in. There could be something right now. Um, when you take a look at the patterns that you've gotten out of, um, you've come a very long way, and so you may need to celebrate in those things the place that you are now versus where you have been. Um, so this person's coming towards you and you need to use your gifts whenever it comes to whoever this is and just continue to see through them and celebrate the separation of you and them or the separation of this toxic pattern. So that's the message. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope this was helpful.